Should Barry Bonds be in the Hall of Fame? 59% of you guys said yes. 41% of you guys said no. Where do you guys fall on this one? Let's go around the horn here. I think you're Mr. Analytics. You want to run some stats real quick? Oh, yeah, Mr. Mr. Numbers. Uh, so, Barry Bonds, we all know he took the juice. 1998 yeah. was the day, was the year they said before the 1998 season was the year he did it. He admitted to it. He's not like it. A Roy admit, admit no, to it. No, I don't think he did. A Rod, we know he Neither did Bron. Neither did Bron. Or did he? The, the, Hebrew, Ryan? Ha- the Hebrew Hammer? Bron? No, he lied nah. about it. He lied he about it, then got made Andrew, I think he made uh, Aaron Rodgers look yeah. bad. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Well, did, who's, didn't somebody come out and like, uh, defend him? It might have been Rodgers. I don't remember Rodgers. I, 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 no, was, was, I think it might have been Rodgers because someone yeah. defended him and then oh. they found out and. That we're just like, like oh, no, yeah. yes. yeah. Changed my mind. Ever since he's been off it, you know, he's a little. Yeah. He's been in right. decline. Irrelevant. But back to the thing. Yeah, so Barry Bonds, 1998. Overall in his career, 762 homers, 1,996 RBIs. He ranks first in homers, fourth in RBIs. 298 batting average, which is better than A Rod and Nolan Arenado currently. Uh, 444 on base and 1.051 OPS. So he obviously was a god. Like before 1998 is when he wasn't using steroids. I mean the pu- puny bonds and yeah. the yeah. puny bonds. Puny I mean bonds. he was still hitting though. For, I don't know. He averaged 31 homers a season. Yeah. I don't know. I was just, like, I was just saying, like, if you were gonna tell me he's not on stage, yeah, yeah, look, yeah, look yeah. at him from it's his like Pittsburgh yeah. days. It's yeah, like Sosa, Sosa That's on the White Sox was like looking like me. Yeah, and then he just became a big boy. Yeah, Sosa became me. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all natural though. No, no PD you saw here. Yeah. So oh. like Bonds before steroids, 31 homers. Av- this is average in all of his seasons before 1998. 31 homers. 91 RBIs, 288 average, 406 on base, and 958 OPS. Which, in today's game, I think we can all agree would be all-star numbers. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, for sure all-star numbers. Yeah, hands down. And then after the steroids, he obviously, you know, beefed up a little bit. Got some power on the swing. Got yeah. some power on the swing. 40, he averaged 47 homers, including a season where he had 73, 107 RBIs, a 324 average, a 500 on base, and a 1.234 OPS. Somebody's been saving up on those VCs. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie 2K, that yeah. guy. So what do you think? Hall of Fame, based on his stats before, do you think if he averaged 3191, 288 average, do you think that's a Hall of Fame player? Puny Bonds? Yeah, with the 31 homers, 91 RBIs on average. Is that I a mean, Hall of Fame player? I'd say so. What do you guys think? I definitely, I definitely would, if I had a voting, I would put Barry Bonds in the Hall of Fame. And I want to address something. Even though he was on the roids, he still has to make contact. Like steroids, he still has to track the baseball and make contact. Yeah, it gives him a lot of power because he's bulked up, but steroids don't affect your eyes. So for him, okay, yeah, I'm not advocating what he did was right, but still, it was kind of still impressive because you still got to track 99 right. and then you have to still got to make ball. contact. Yeah. yeah, I get what you're saying. That's actually a really good point. I feel like that that gets overlooked a lot. Yeah. Just, it's like, it gets out of the look because as soon as somebody takes steroids, like, it's supernatural. Yeah, he doesn't have yeah, to track. Yeah. Like, all the skill's gone. Well, yeah. yes. Maybe the power asset, yes, that skill's gone because he's, um, he's juiced to the goddamn gills, but yeah. that doesn't affect his guy. eye. He still has to track it. Yeah. That's true. And I mean, naturally, over time, he wouldn't have gotten as big as he was, but he would have gotten bigger. Like, yeah. you're going to be I'm weightlifting sure. regularly. Yeah. So, like, I'm sure even from Pittsburgh to his early San Francisco years, he got stronger, but he wouldn't have yeah. gotten as strong. But I agree. I he think he's looked a like, player. Yeah, he wouldn't have looked like Yoel Romero from the UFC. Oh, my God. <laughs> that man is... Soldier to God. But, no. Nah. I think he's a whole... I don't... I think... I don't know how people can say he's not, in my yeah. opinion. He was, like... He's just talented at baseball he knows yeah. how to hit the ball i think he without steroids yeah. he probably would have averaged 35 homers still so like that's in today's game that's an all-star like regularly that's yeah. an every year all-star top 10 player in the league i don't see him not being all of him so True. I've, i just want to i just want to have my two cents to this so one especially with uh, with barry bonds like it was just crazy because yes he was on the juice but I'll never forget, there were, like, he kind of, in a way, did change the game. Because I remember, like, there were times where, like, there would be bases loaded. 
and literally people would intentionally walk him. So yeah. they, because yeah. they were so afraid, like you said, of his skill set, at any point he could hit one out of the yard. Yeah. So that, and if you guys take a look back, I remember a couple months ago, I saw this clip on YouTube where he was facing, uh, you guys remember Eric Gagne, the closer for the yeah, Dodgers yeah, back yeah. in the day? Nasty. Yeah. He, they, were, they had this, this, sequ this sequence where, he, where Bonds was batting and Eric Gagne was pitching. And again, how you were talking about, like, this, you still need to have skill to track the ball. Yeah. For those, for those of you out there, go ahead and go search Barry Bonds versus Eric Gagne on YouTube, and just watch that pitch sequence and how like Barry Bonds had a battle against one of the probably the one of the top, if not the elite, an elite closer at that time yeah. in, in his career. He was so, nasty. Yeah. So like I said, even though yes, he was on the juice, like you said, you still had to track the ball, especially a guy against Gagne who was an elite closer at the time. That was, if you have time, go ahead and check that out. But yeah, like I said, those are my two cents as far as Barry Bonds goes. What were you gonna say? Gagne had that Vulcan change, right? Yeah. He had that guy. That was a, he had like a Vulcan. He had a Vulcan change. Well, that's Eric, Eric Gagne, I'm pretty yeah. sure, yeah. Uh, he was, that was his best pitch, obviously. Just, it was absolute dirty. And I, I don't he, recall that bet, but... Yeah, you, I, you guys, I don't think... I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys were even born. Yeah. yeah, you guys were just like pooping in diapers every yeah. time. Yeah. I think so, Eric Gagne was on steroids, too, but... Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Like, Starling, like, just think about this. Starling Marte was on steroids, and... He still, I'm pretty sure he still was the same player. Yeah, he was. He didn't mm. drastically like change. Like he didn't have that massive jump. Yeah. That, that you hoped did. that you hoped to obtain with the with PEDs. Steroids. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so that shows you you still have to have some type of skill with the eye tracking of the baseball. Yeah. Is it cheating? Yes, to yes. an extent, but you still have to pull your weight. Yeah. Yeah. We're not advocating steroids yeah. for anyone out there. We're not advocating people to use steroids to make them better. We're just saying that, like. Honestly, we're honestly saying that it's not all that. Like, you Brent, can improve yeah. naturally. Like, it's going to help you, but you still have to be good at your sport yeah. you if still, you ever want to get way better. Yeah, and, and you still got to put in the work. Yeah. yeah. And we're just defending Barry Bonds' Hall of Fame to be in the Hall of Fame for what he did pre Fine. You want to put an asterisk next to his name uh, for the when he was on the roids? Fine. But you you got to take a part when he was off the roids. Those numbers were still freakishly insane. Yeah. I think Agreed. that's all our points here that we're on a yes. Well said, well said. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow all of our social media platforms at Cats Bros Podcast. Peace.